Hi guys, welcome to another video. I thought I'd run you through something today which I get asked about on a regular basis. Now, those of you who watch the sister channel, the actual vlog channel, the Avon Anglin channel, will know that I fish quite a lot into dark. Uh, and in doing so, uh, fish either on the quiver tip or on the float, obviously. Now, when I'm using either of those methods, obviously, you need to be able to see them. Now, I know people like to put uh, beta lights on their quiver tips or even illuminate their floats with a with a beta light fixed to the top of them. Personally, I prefer to use a torch. Two reasons, really. Um, I don't really like beta lights particularly, especially on quiver tips. The line can get wrapped around them. I find it rather annoying, to be honest, and a bit fiddly. But uh, the other reason is the filming. Using beta lights, they don't really give out enough light for the cameras to record. So what I use is a torch. Now, obviously, you can use any torch to do this, but I have found a torch. I actually found it on eBay, which, uh, which I use. I'm not sure I recommend it for a few points I'll go into in a minute, but it, it suits me absolutely fine. And uh, it's certainly very usable. And that's, it's one of these. I'll, I'll stick a link in the description below to it, should you want to go and have a look at it. But as I say, I'll run you through the good points and the bad points of this. Now, the good thing is, it's rechargeable. It's got a rechargeable battery in there. It comes with a plug, as you can see. You can plug it in. You, you can even recharge it in your car if you want. It also comes with one of these little modules where you can put normal batteries in rather than the rechargeable one. The rechargeable one obviously lives in here. I think there's one in here. This is actually my spare. It's one of these big... There's not one in there. I'll get one out of mine. I'll big one and show you. It's one of these big rechargeables. I can't remember the number. 18650. It's one of those batteries. Now, aside from being rechargeable, there's several advantages of this particular torch, which is why I chose to use it. First of all, it's got a metal body which makes it very robust, but also another point I'll come on to in a minute, which is why I like a metal body. It also, as far as rechargeable ability goes, it actually charges itself in there. You just plug the, the uh, charger in there and it will charge itself up. The main advantage I find is got this silver ring here and that will focus the beam down. You can have an absolute parallel beam, lovely bright beam, or you can open it up and have a big wide angle on your beam. Perhaps if uh, I'm doing a bit of zander fishing into dark, I've got a couple of floats out, I can open this beam right up and see both the floats. Whereas if I've got a single float in the middle of the canal, perhaps a waggler fishing the lift method into dark, I can focus this right down tight on the float and again, shine it up onto the quiver tip, just adjust the beam so it's just covering the, the uh, the quiver tip of the rod so i find that very very useful now one of the bad points about this is i found is my charger actually packed up i'm not sure why there seemed to be a bad connection in here for some reason it stopped charging itself so i had to buy myself um only cost a couple of quid but i bought myself um a separate battery charger for those 18650 batteries but it is a reason well, why perhaps i wouldn't recommend it because it did pack up on me now, the other advantage of this is that you can use it off a power pack when you're actually on the bank. You've got your little socket there, as you can see, and the lead that comes with it obviously just plugs into there. Now, if you're getting low, you forgot to charge it or whatever, it's USB. So it's just a case of plugging this into a power pack, should you have one with you, and I always do <laughs> as I'm filming, but lots of people carry power packs with themselves with them these days. But you certainly charge it up or it will actually work directly off a power pack. So that's another great advantage of this. Now, this is my torch I actually use. This is my beaten up version that <laughs> gets used a lot out in the field. Absolutely love it. As I say, it does the job perfectly for me. Now, what you can probably see is I've got on here the extra bit you probably noticed in here it comes with this I don't know air traffic controllers cone <laughs> ground crew cone because obviously you can you can fit that to the front of the torch and that glows perhaps you won't want to use it I, I don't know if you broke down the motorway or something I guess that's the idea of it something like that what I did with the one from my original is I chopped this off about an inch long there as you can see covered it in black tape 
Oh. <laughs> Coloured it in on the inside, which is starting to come off. But what I find is, is that stops the torch when you've got it next to you, getting in the corner of your eye and ruining your night vision. That just takes the, 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 the light spill off the side of the torch. Because I find when you sat in the dark, if you've got something sort of next to you that's just catching the corner of your eye, I find it very distracting. So um, that's the reason that that's on there. And you've probably also seen my little modification on here. Now, what I wanted to do was fit this onto a little bank stick such as this. And this is how I stick it into the ground. Now, what I've done, like so. It's uh, obviously an adjustable bank stick, but it's only a small one. Because what I love to do is stick this into the ground next to me and I'll either shine it across the water parallel with the water surface just to catch the top of the float or stick it in at an angle shine it up at the quiver tip so I like to keep the light off the water lots of people say you know light doesn't affect the fish even attracts the fish but my i figure that if the fish don't know i'm there i've got a better chance of catching them that's the way i figure it so i don't like to shine the torch on the water although having said that obviously with the filming when i catch a fish i have to put the lights on so you guys can see what's going on anyway but what I've done here to enable me to screw a bank stick onto here, and this is where this, this metal body comes in, is I have araldited a nut onto the body there. And to the nut, I've fitted an adapter. Now, the nut from memory is a quarter UNC. That's a standard camera thread. Again, you can get these off eBay. I'll stick links to everything down below to all this stuff I've used. But I've just used a stainless nut there, which I've fixed on with some epoxy resin. This is Araldite, actually. Just taking the paint off that metal, as you can see, scratch the paint off to give it a nice key. Stuck some epoxy resin on there and fixed that nut on nice and securely. And obviously to get a thread, what I've done is I bought myself a bank stick to camera adapter. Now in the past I've used ball joint ones to get different angles and stuff. I just found them a real fiddle, they fall to bits, they're just annoying. So I've just got one of these very, very cheapy ones. So then it's just a case of screwing these together. Now what I've done, as you can see, that's that's fitted in there. What I've actually done is put some thread lock in between the adapter and that nut there, just so that I can take it out if I need to, but it stays in there semi-permanently so I don't lose it. That's the idea because I don't want to be packing up at night, be unscrewing my bank stick, and instead of it coming out like that, I don't want that bit coming out in the bank stick, and then next time I might grab a different bank stick and I haven't got my adapter with me. So that's the reason for thread locking that in place there. Now, as I say, this torch I find very, very useful, although, as I say, for the reasons given that it, it stopped charging itself, I, don't, I wouldn't say I could recommend it, but it does do the job very well if you're happy to buy yourself a separate charger. And as I say, mine only cost a few quid. So if you're gonna get out there, perhaps float fish into dark and don't wanna mess about with beta lights, I would recommend using a torch. As I say, this, this is focusable, so very, very useful. Focus on that float, or as I say, up on your quiver tip. And if you wanna make your quiver tips even more visible, and you haven't got a white quiver tip, because white quiver tips are are so useful as it's getting dark and certainly into dark as well if you've got a white quiver tip rather than a black one it's so much so much more visible and this will obviously really make it glow as well and you'll be able to see it very very easily as opposed to a black one which is a lot more subtle this will catch the rings and sort of give you the outline of the of the rod tip and you will be able to see it a black tip with this but a white one is certainly a lot lot more visible and if you want to know how to turn your black rod tip white without doing any permanent damage to it then look out for the next video because that will be the subject of that so i'll stick a link to this below i hope you find that useful it's uh, it's certainly very very useful with a caveat that mine stopped charging itself up but i say it's not an issue i bought a separate little charger for a few pounds so all was left to do is say thank you very much for watching Hope you find that useful. Tight lines when you get out on the bank. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your wonderful support. 
and I'll see you all again very soon.